Hey YouTube, Maddie's Daddy 12 Team JMT, uh, bringing you guys another deck profile. Um, before I get into the deck profile, I still have the Storm of Ragnarok sneak peek mat. If you're interested in that, please send me a personal message with an offer. Do not leave me a comment. Please send me a personal message. Um, I check those a lot more often than I check the comments. Um, so, the deck profile. This deck is built off of light beat. Um, that's pretty much the basis of the deck. However, the deck's built with um, some cards that aren't released yet. One of them is Elemental Hero The Shining. And the other one is Elemental Hero Great Tornado. Uh, last, I have Elemental Hero Absolute Zero. Um, I made some changes to my light beat to accommodate these guys. Um, if you're current with the meta and with the game, you already know what Absolute Zero does, but, uh, just to let everybody know, just in case you don't, uh, when he leaves the field, uh, I get to destroy all my opponent's monsters, and he is a E-Hero and a Water Monster to summon. Um, Great Tornado is 2800 attack, 2200 defense. He is a Elemental Hero and a Wind Monster to summon. When he's successfully summoned, I can half the attack of all the face-up monsters on my opponent's side of the field, which makes his 2800 extremely beefy. Um, last is Elemental Hero of Shining. He's actually scheduled for release March 1st. Um, he's 2600 attack, 2100 defense. He's a E-Hero plus a light monster. Uh, he gains 500 attack for every... Uh, elemental hero that's removed from play and when he's sent from the field to the graveyard I can add two elemental hero monsters that are removed from play back to my hand so uh, these guys are the boss monsters of the deck um, so yeah let's go ahead and get into the deck so like I said before it's based off of light beat so I run two cyber dragon one Stratos. Uh, a tech that I'm trying out right now is one Elemental Hero Ice Edge. Uh, he seems really good. He's only 800 attack and 900 defense, so he's not that big. However, when he deals battle damage from a direct attack, I can destroy one set, spell, or trap my opponent controls. And I can discard a card during my main phase one in order to allow him to attack directly. Uh, he, once again, he's an E-Hero, and he's a water target for Absolute Zero, and, well, just any old E-Hero target. Uh, next is three E-Hero uh, Alias, uh, 1900 Light, Beat Stick, uh, Gemini. Uh, next is Gemini Lancer, uh, another water target. Um, and a Gemini monster, uh, like I said, it's light beat, so my two Gemini monsters, or the four Gemini monsters are my targets for, uh, Gemini Spark. Uh, three, Thunder King Ryu, uh, 1900 beater, um, light target, just, I mean, really good monster for this deck. Uh, next, one DD Warrior Lady. Um, I really like this card. Just, I really feel like this should be uh, tried out in a lot more decks than what it is being played in. Uh, next, I run plenty of light monsters, so two honest. Uh, then an older card that a lot of people haven't seen in a while, Slate Warrior. Uh, it's another win target, like Stratos. Um, he's a flip effect monster, 1900 attack, 400 defense. When he's flip summoned... He gains 500 attack and 500 defense, which makes him 24 and 900. Uh, and then when he's destroyed by battle, the monster that destroyed him loses 500 attack and 500 defense. So he see, he's really good. I'm wanting to try him out. I may actually change this out for a Mist Valley Soldier. Uh, not really for sure. Uh, next are my last two monsters, two Snowman Eater. Again, two water targets for Absolute Zero. Uh, 1900 defense, man eater bug. This guy just puts in a lot of work in any deck that I put him in. He puts in a lot of work. Uh, now let's go on into the spells. Um, three miracle fusion, 
and one Future Fusion. Um, you guys saw part of the extra deck. You know what I'm using these for. Next is three Gemini Spark, uh, three Alias, and one uh, Lancer. I really like having the four targets for the three Gemini Spark. Uh, next, one Monster Reborn in Dark Hole. Uh, even though the Shining doesn't come out till March 1st, and this format would be completely changed by the time the Shining comes out, I wanted to get some playtesting in. So um, I built this deck for this format. I feel pretty confident that both of these cards will be gone at the format at the change of the format, though. Uh, one E-Call and one Reinforcements the Army. Uh, searches for all my elemental hero monsters, and then this searches for again all my e elemental hero monsters, uh, also for DD Warrior Lady. Uh, two MST. A lot of people have gone away from playing this. I don't know why. I really like this card. Uh, two Book of Moon. This is a stun deck, so it wins on battle, and I feel like I really need the two Book of Moons in order to uh, uh, in order to make that happen for me. Uh, on into the trap lineup, one solemn judgment and one solemn warning. Two bottomless trap holes. Uh, again, people are taking these out of their deck, and I just don't understand why. This is another card that I really like. Uh, one mirror force and two dimensional prison. Like I said before, this this deck wins in battle. So I need stuff to eliminate my opponent's monsters in order to make that happen. Uh, last but not least is a trap that I think that every light beat should at least try out. And that's Hero Blast. It allows me to recycle my aliases. And it's just really good. I'm able to destroy the monster and add the alias back to my hand. Uh, I don't know how much this is going to help in this deck because uh, the Miracle Fusions are going to be removing my aliases. So, this may come out, but as of right now, it's in there. Let's go ahead and get into the extra deck. Um, I feel like I'm going to go into Helm the most. So, I have three Elemental Hero The Shining. Um, proxies, of course, because it doesn't come out until March 1st, but three of those guys. Uh, next, one Elemental Hero Great Tornado. Uh, I'll only run the two wins, so I don't know how often I'm going to go into Helm. And then two... Elemental Hero Absolute Zeros, uh, several water targets, and just a really good monster. Uh, next, Elemental Hero Gaia, uh, there, and then one uh, Dragon Knight Dra uh, Draco Equest. I want to show you guys some uh, of the side deck choices. Um, two Super Polymerizations. I have Shining, Great Tornado, Absolute Zero, Gaia. So I have the four different Elemental Hero monsters. If my opponent has a Light monster, a uh, Water monster, a Wind monster, or an Earth monster on the field, I can eliminate that monster with this card and gain and gain one of my own boss monsters. I also have a uh, Dragon Knight Quest in my side deck, also or in my extra deck also. So if they bring out a Stardust Dragon, I can take my Warrior and their Stardust Dragon and make him. Uh, so uh, there you go, guys. That's the deck profile. And there are my boss monsters for this deck. So I appreciate it. Make sure you comment down below. Subscribe. And show us how much you love us.